No! All feminists are sexist! All women are sexist! All women are sexist! Spreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. Uh... Have you ever been raped? Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty upfront question. Because I feel like if you have it, you can't take a stand against it. I think one thing leads to another, so I don't think it's trivializing at all. So in a culture where women are stoned to death for- Wait one second, pal. Did you fucking see that? <laughs> being raped, you're saying you're being catcalled is the same as that. Catcall is a stoning, it's the same thing, it's against women. So why, why it's not why the same thing though? Opinion, what's the, what's the, uh, the cure to our, um, westernized kind of idea that it's okay to, uh, cat catcall at women and that sort of thing? What is the solution in your opinion? What is the solution to catcalling? Certainly not walking around in my underwear. I am the one, the way you talk, don't need the This is what a feminist looks like. This is what a feminist looks like. Are feminists funny? Yes, they're funny. I'm willing to go down to your level. Just look at me. What happens? I got your message. Okay. I got it in here. I got it. I don't think it has anything to do with female or male. It has to do with people being regarded as evil. This is what a feminist. This is what a feminist. This is what a feminist looks like. Shut the fuck up. It's a state of mind. It's a state of being who you are and not being treated as less. Feminism, political, economic, or so. With that kind of hate in you? Stop, Brady, Brady. Please. No, no, please stop. I understand that you're trying to help, but please just please. This is peaceful. We don't need to be yelling. I just am asking you. You fucking bitch, you just friend zone me. Not well. Bad. Please leave us alone. Please. Yes, it hurts so bad to hear people saying things like that. It's not Christian. It's not Christian for you to go and yell at people like that. It's God. Pretty. <gasps> pretty. Pretty. What the fuck? I'm not the pretty fucking helpless princess in distress. I'm pretty fucking powerful and ready for success. So what is more offensive? A little girl saying fuck or the fucking on equal and sexist way? Society treats girls and women. It's our future. So listen up, grown-ups. Here's some words more fucked up than the word fuck. Pay inequality. What most people don't realize, the gender pay gap is a sort of myth. No economist takes it seriously. The ONS figures come from broad church sort of averages across the workforce. And when you take into account the different choices women make, whether or not you include um, children in that, actually the, the pay gap narrows to zero. So I'm in favor of this only because it's going to really embarrass these uh, campaigners who constantly um, tell women that they're victims and that they're suffering under this sort of patriarchal society. Actually, women and men get paid pretty much the same uh, um, to the point of a couple of percent. Um, so I am in favour of, of it, but only because it's going to explode one of the most persistent feminist myths of our time, the gender pay gap. Women are paid 23% less than men for the exact same fucking work. Your main claim is about the gender pay gap, that actually that is a myth. And it's not a myth, is it? Even yes, it is today, a myth, yes. Well, it's not a myth according to the figures from the ONS, the Office for National Statistics, because even in November last year, they showed that the gender pay gap for all employees, full-time and part-time, still benefits men by 19.1 percent that's their figures yes. well, for full-time employment just one moment, it was 9.4 percent less and that's in april this year now there is a narrow figure that they use too which shows that hourly earnings in april 2014 with women working for more than 30 hours a week were actually paid 1.1 percent more but that's right. it it's just that bracket and actually yeah. when you get uh, men and women workers in their 40s 50s or 60s again the gender pay gap is in favor 
of men. So it's a myth. Well, you're right about all of that stuff, but you're wrong about why it's happening. Um, you well, the... well, hang on a second, though, because you made the claim in your piece, in your film, that women are not paid, uh, or rather men are not paid more than women, and they yeah, are. Well, you have to understand where the figures come from, right? These, um, these yeah, figures... Yeah, you must understand. These figures are... <laughs> Excuse me, no, mansplaining, right. aren't you? No. Uh, these You're figures come from yourself. averages across society. They don't take into account the different life choices that women make. The reality is that women do prefer a more balanced life. When they go to work, even if they don't have babies, they take longer holidays. They tend to take more holidays. And the reason that, 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 that you know, they are paid more up to about 30, 35, 39, depending on whose figures you believe, the reason that flips no, Only the between end, 30 and 39. The reason, no, that's actually not true. Um, the reason that the figures flip after that age is because women make different life choices. Right. And if you take those life choices into account, no serious economist believes this stuff. It's repeated by politicians right up to President Obama, but no serious economist takes the wage well, gap seriously. And women who graduate university with straight A's get paid as much as men who only got C's. So bad grades equal more bank just because you're a boy? You stupid fucking cunt. I shouldn't need a penis to get paid. Rape and violent fucked up facts. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or raped by a man. One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Which one of us will it be? How many more women have to get knocked down before society stands up and stops it? Here's a hot tip. <laughs> Stop telling girls how to dress and start teaching boys not to fucking rape. Jesus Christ. I am sick of being a baby factory that produces more men that will just in the future subjugate me. So the only answer to that is to kill male babies and um, just kill any man that you see, like in the streets, like any swinging dick, just kill him. Because um, we want the species to go on, but we want it only to go on with women in it. So that's what we have to do. That's the only way to keep the human race going is with just women. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Bindle has openly called for putting men in concentration camps. I mean, I would actually put them all in some kind of camp where they can all drive around in quad bikes or bicycles or white vans. I would give them a choice of vehicles to drive around with, give them no porn, they wouldn't be able to fight. We would have wardens, of course. Women who want to see their sons or male loved ones would also be able to go and visit or take them out like a library book and then bring them back. But of course, feminism is not about man-hating, oh no. I'm sorry it's a boy. Go and read her quotes in the full context of the article. She's not even joking. Bindle also states, quote, I hope heterosexuality doesn't survive, actually. I would like to see a truce on heterosexuality. <laughs> Wait a second. You hope the very biological process that creates women doesn't survive, and you call yourself a feminist. The rest of the interview, she talks about getting laws passed to achieve what she's calling for. These people are frigging dangerous. Well, the free market is. If women want to spend all that money getting a pedicure, we don't even see your fucking feet. Can you imagine? I can't even conceive of a man saying, yeah, I went on a date with her and she hadn't had a pedicure in a while. Her toes were way too long. <laughs> Like, that's never happened. No, no, no. Women are bleaching their anus. You know how many men have gone, she's almost perfect, but her anus is brown. <laughs> so we're splitting up. Yeah. When there's a situation like, okay, guys, you and I work at Stelco. We got to stay all night to work on this proposal. We might not get it. My daughter has a piano recital. Your daughter has a piano recital. You are more likely, over the you know, course of millions of women, the female is more likely to say, I'm going to my daughter's piano recital, sorry. I'm more likely to stay all night. That means that choice again and again and again eventually leads to me going up the ladder faster and making more money. Yeah, different life priorities. Yeah. Now, I, the guy on Fox was saying that this is a good thing because it's God's way, nature's way of saying women are happier at home. I mean, if you take a female, a, a female chimp that's and you put her right there, she can play with a truck or a stuffed animal. And you put a male chimp there, he can play with a truck or a stuffed animal. Invariably, they've done this with 800 different cases. 
the male chimps almost always go for the truck and the female chimps almost always go for the stuffed animal and start stroking it and nurturing it. Yeah. So this Yeah, there is something mothery that is in a lot of women. That so is let's glor if we're, let's be feminist. Let's glorify the housewife. Let's glorify their choice to I'm, earn less. I'm all for glorifying the housewife and glorifying all the women and the choices that they make and how to live their lives. Great. So we're on the same page there. <laughs> yeah. So the wage gap is a myth. You believe that now? I don't completely believe that. I think that some of that plays a factor, that, uh, like how late women stay, how much time and energy they're putting towards their career development. But I think that there's also other factors that contribute to not earning the same as men. But I mean, sexual assault is still an issue. More men Sex get raped than women. Again, I didn't specify gender when I said sexual assault. But that we're talking about feminism. Feminism yeah, is... Yeah, feminism is also dealing with sexual assault across genders. So feminism, we need feminism because too many men are getting raped. Too many people are getting raped. That's part of it. Okay, so that, that just, actually a, makes sense. We need feminism because more men are getting raped than women, and we need to bring that number down. We need to bring all numbers down around rape and sexual assault. Well, the cases of rape are plummeting over the past quarter century. All crime is going that. down. Okay, so, but then feminists should be outside prisons going, this is out of control. Stop prison rape. Stop prison rape. Leave men alone. Leave men alone. I cannot picture that. Yeah, well, I think that we, there should be more. Okay, addressing. so men getting raped is one fire that we need feminism for. Give me another one. Minimum wage? Minimum wage jobs. You're not supposed to raise a family at McDonald's. You may not be supposed to be, but there are too many people that that is their only option. Oh, because illegal aliens have crowded out the Not market. just that. Well, 15 million illegals working cheap has surely affected oh, yeah. the bottom sure. line. So I think if you're concerned about wages and the working class, you should be fighting illegal immigration. The biggest concern is the wealth gap, though. I mean, how much the top percent is making co in comparison to everybody else. Ah. That's... I do agree that CEOs make too much, but you remind yes. me of a Margaret Thatcher quote where she said, labor would, ra would rather have the wealth gap here where both are poorer than a gap like this where the rich are rich, where the poor are richer, but the gap is bigger. Would you rather have both down here than a big gap with the poor slightly higher? I think it would make for a healthier society. To be down here? To be closer to equal, yeah. And do you think the government's role is to regulate that and impose it on the society? To some extent. So you're a socialist? I wouldn't say that, but I believe in some socialist ideals. Have you ever been to the DMV? Yep. These are the people, these fucking bureaucrats with no interest in being there, these rude, lazy, morons are going to be handling your justice. You're imparting your freedom and your liberty and your equality. You're saying, hey, shitheads, can you run my life, please? Not all government employees are. Yes, lazy. they are. No, they're not. That's why they're in the government. <laughs> Politicians are not. There are many different government jobs and they are not just the DMV. No, There's... because they don't have regulation. They don't have the free market kicking them out. So incompetence abounds. In fact, it's encouraged. And they are all about getting more money, justifying their department, getting bigger next year. Mega faggot. Ladies feminists. Uh, I suppose you could say that. Aww. And so what makes you guys empowered? Um, access to resources to actually make choices about my bodily autonomy and maintain my bodily autonomy. So, like, not shaving your armpits, is that empowering you? I don't life? like to shave my armpits, so I don't. It's, it's, that's it. It's empowering to be able to make it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're allowed to be 
pro-choice you can and have make, children. You can also make the choice not to have sex. So can you. Yeah. Don't reproduce. Then you won't have horrible children with your opinions. So you cannot ask them those types of questions. You gotta ask them questions that's relevant. You feel what I'm saying? Because they understand they're healing. That's why they're out of the problem. I can ask them whatever questions yeah, you I can. See, yeah. You can, but make sure you get what you're looking for, though. Just like when you can ask whatever you want. Right. Make sure you're getting what you're looking for. Stand up, fight back. You ain't getting sucker punched in the face. It's your way. Stand up, fight back. Another reason why people of color, to use the left's preferred expression, is sometimes a little reluctant to express libertarian or conservative points of view. And I'll tell you um, something that happened to me at American University a few days ago. Um, guy lined up for the Q&A, very politely, black guy. He said, um, I was physically threatened by Black Lives Matter on my way in here for just, for coming to, just for coming to hear you speak. And if you don't believe me, it's on camera. Um, he was... <laughs> Wait, hold on. He Did was, she just change your mind? What? Did she just change your mind? I think I felt a shift because she yelled shit out. Yes, she interrupted me with, she interrupted me with a bogus buzzword, I'm convinced. Um, and what he said to me was, what do I say? What do I say to black people who have bought into this nonsense um, when I just want to go about my business listening to a talk? And I said to him, well... Um, they are guilty of the worst kind of racism. They're guilty of the kind of racism that's, that they're guilty of the kind of racism that suggests all black people must think alike. They are guilty of the kind of racism Excuse that insists. Excuse me, Senator. Thank you for your enthusiasm. If you'd please be seated. Thank you. They're guilty of the kind of racism that suggests that all black people must think the same. They're uh, just in the same way that people who have problems with me being a gay conservative are guilty of a, of a, of a sort of homophobia, a real homophobia, which, which actually does uh, delegitimize and belittle a particular group and sort of put them in a box. And he said, well, what do I say to these people? And I said, well, look, here's, here's what you say to them. You go out, you, you calmly and politely, you say, if you believe that if you believe that the civil rights struggle matters at all, if you believe that the fight to allow black people to have their voices heard, to have an equal footing with whites in this country, if you believe in the, in the restitution and reparations after slavery, if you believe that it is an important goal to hear black voices, hear mine because not every black person agrees with Black Lives Matter. Not every gay person believes in the gay lobby. Not every woman is a feminist. And this kind of identitarian politics that we heard from the front that crucifies people who step outside of their, of their racial or sexual um, groups because they have the wrong ideology is the worst sort of bigotry. And those people... And... And if, if, you're wondering why, if you're wondering why people of color are sometimes scared, not scared in the way social justice warriors pretend to be scared because a conservative is on campus, but black people are actually scared because somebody got assaulted at American University the other day. If you are wondering why there aren't more people of color standing up for these sorts of opinions, you might want to pull out a mirror. <laughs>